All right, y'all, here we are with the second video for math. This is going to start with a review from the first one, rounding numbers to the nearest whole number, decimals to the nearest whole number, I mean. So when you look at these, remember yesterday or whenever you just watched the first video, that is, that you um, learned to look at the number, find the whole number, and then look at the number to the right. Remember, 1 through 4 rounds down, whereas 5 through 9 rounds up. So, this one right here, we're going to round up to, up or down, we're going to round it down to 6, because 1 rounds down. 5.6, 5.66 6 is going to round up. So that means that 5, 5 needs to change to a 6. It's going to round to 6. 3.9, look at the number to the right of the decimal. 9 rounds up, so that means that it's going to round to 4. And then my last one, 4.2, look at the number to the right of the decimal. 2, 2 rounds down, so that means that this one is going to round to 4 as well. How'd you do? Right, next up, we're going to look today at rounding to the tenths and the hundredths place. So, read this. Obviously, these are in your packet, just like the other pages were. Again, you can follow along, write on them, read them, use them however you would like to. Um, for notes, as I'm teaching, if not, then no worries. Rounding decimals. Look at the digit to the right of the place being rounded. So this is going to where you're going to have to really envision that worm that's up at the top of the board or look at your place value chart in your study book that you taped in. You're going to have to definitely know what place is which. The digit being rounded remains the same if the digit to the right is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Round up if the digit to the right is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Okay, sounds like gibberish, but let's check it out. We need to take 3 and 92 hundredths and round to the nearest tenth, okay? So look at the digit to the right of the tenths place. All right, so first thing I got to do is where is the tenths place? This is the tenths place, the 9 is. But I need to look at the digit to the right, right? To the right of 9 is 2. 2 rounds which way? Down. So that means that my answer is going to chop it off and my rounded answer to the nearest tenth is going to be 3.9. All right, pause that, listen to it again if you need to. Okay, let's move on to the nearest hundredth. Always find the hundredths place. Tenths, hundredths, thousands. Here's my hundredths. I need to look at the number to the right, which is 7. 7 rounds up. Now, this one is actually where it gets a little bit tricky because, guys, think about this, right? If I were to put um, 29, 29 is going to round up to 30. 7 rounds up, but the next number isn't 20. Um, three, the next number is zero, right? Nine, ten comes next. So that means I had to add it, and that's going to be 46 and 30 hundredths. That one's super confusing, but we'll keep working at it, right? Now, let's do these together and think about it, right? Number one, 219 thousandths. Round to each number to the place indicated. I need to round to the hundredths place, but it is a nine, nine rounds up. So you got it. It's gonna be, all right, we'll just, we'll just make it that big. That's maybe a little bit smaller. Okay, point to make the next, the one, the next number, which is a two. All right, next up, number two. 15 and 555, that 52 thousandths. Find the number in the tenths place. Look at the number to the right, which is the five. Five rounds up, 
So that means I've got to change my next number. Oh, come on. Right? 15.6. Change it to the next number. All right, number three. This one says unit. That means whole number. So this one should be easy. Look at the number to the right of the whole number, which is a six. Six rounds up. So its next number is going to be nine. Next is 10. All right? Now this one we didn't go over, but it shouldn't be too bad. All right, it's seven and 375 ten thousandths. So it wants us to round to the thousands place. So that means I'm going to look at the number to the right, which is the five. Five rounds which way? Up. Okay, so that means I'm going to change that seven to the next number, which is seven and 38 thousandths. See how I just changed it from 37. Because it rounded up, it went from 37 to 38. All right, number five, 16 and 399 thousandths, rounding to the nearest tenth. Now, this is one of those tricky ones, right? All right, so we've got a three. We need nine is going to round which way? Up. So that means I need to change the three to a four, right? 16.4, then number six to the nearest tenth. Where's the tenths place? That's the three. And then I'm gonna circle the digit to the right, which is a seven, seven rounds up. So that means I'm gonna move that point three to be um come on, here we go. Point four. And then my last one, hundreds place. Where's my hundreds place? There it is, a four. The digit to the right is a five. I'm gonna round up, which means it's gonna be 0.45. There it is. <clears throat> All right, now I've got this place right here, this page right here for you guys to do. Um, again, you can send me a picture of it on Dojo. You can um, get your parents to check it. No, it says round each number to the underlined place value. So you're going to round it to a unit here. Round it to the hundreds place, the tenths place, the tens place. Um, keep practicing these. You've got a page front and back for rounding decimals. Make sure that you send me questions if you have them. Pe keep being good, my loves.